postpartum depression hit me very very hard these days are never going to come back don't a lot of weight you'll have stretch marks don't have time i'm too busy with arhan you have elders to help you you night wear all day long do you want to go to this place and eat do you want to go to that place and eat you restricted saying 40 days you are untouchable hey guys assalamu alaikum namaste and wanakkam welcome back to my channel samira sharee guys as you all have already seen the title today's video is all about 12 things that help me to stay away from uh, postpartum depression or letting the postpartum depression hit me very very hard so many of you all commented and kept asking me how are you so happy uh, don't you have postpartum depression and all of those actually i've been working a lot to not get into postpartum depression i know it's a huge roller coaster ride the entire postpartum but yes Alhamdulillah I am successful I don't have postpartum depression my mood swings of course I do have that I've been having even before my delivery or even before getting pregnant I've been noting down things and I thought I should be making a video on this and sharing you guys about my experience in the postpartum and how to deal it happily and how to not get into depression so yeah here are the 12 things that I have personally experienced and tried to change my life I am not a therapist I am not a specialist or anything but things worked for me and I think it will be helpful for you guys so I thought why not make this video and yeah too much of blabbering without any further ado let's get started all right so as you can see I've noted down everything on my notes in the phone so we have 12 points that I have noted so the first and the foremost thing make memories make as many memories as possible guys because these days are never going to come back I know everybody all of us not just you as a mother but everybody the family members let it be the father of the child or the grandmother or beat anybody they're always and always capturing baby's photos or baby's videos but where are you in the pictures i want you to capture each and every day of yours with the baby so make sure you capture your day with the baby so when you look back to these days like after 5 years down the line when you look back and see you have memories with the child and not just the child i hope you get my point so try to make as many memories as possible just fix the camera at one place and you spend your day just how it is or you know if you're playing with your baby try to fix your phone somewhere and capture those moments because as i said these days are never going to come back and uh, don't let anything or anybody judge you over this just record just record your memories click as many pictures as possible along with the baby and not just the baby trust me you will definitely not regret doing this i'm sure you will love watching back all your memories later in the future now the second thing that i have is love yourself i know it is like one of the most difficult things that you can do after your delivery like postpartum trying to love ourselves is the most difficult thing that one can do we'll have a lot of changes in our body for example our skin it starts getting super dull our hair will get very bad we'll have pathetic hair fall uh by the way talking about the hair fall i have already made a video on how i still have these beautiful hair like all the volume and all the curls and nourishment i've already made a video in past so i'll try to link that right here so you can go and check that out so you can still work on all of these let it be your skin let it be your hair and i know your body you put on a lot of weight you'll have stretch marks you'll start hating yourself trust me this is all a part of your life and everything will settle down in place you can get back your beautiful hair you can get back with your beautiful old looking body or your skin it is just the hormonal changes that your body is going through because you've been taking a lot of medication for the fetus now the baby is out you're caring more about the baby and not taking care of yourself and that's how maybe your body is going through a lot of changes and as i said we have created a life and obviously our body is going to have a lot of changes right so don't take all that in a negative way feel blessed that god has given us a chance of creating a life getting a baby onto this world so feel thankful for that and love yourself see how beautifully you've created this baby how beautifully god has chosen you to get this baby onto this world that itself will keep you happy and love yourself don't feel how badly you appear physically or you know how your body has become how your hair has become how your skin has got pigmented don't see all of that just see the happy side of it and as i said your skin your body your hair everything you can work on but first you need to believe yourself and love yourself 
Now talking about loving yourself, this takes me to the next point that is our third point that is to keep ourselves groomed. Now when I say keep ourselves groomed is you're too much occupied with the baby, right? So you tend to forget about yourself. While you're taking care of your baby, you also need to focus on yourself and keep yourself groomed. Let it be your hair, let it be your face, let it be your body, anything. Let it be anything. Try to keep yourself as groomed as possible. For example, what I do personally to be groomed, I love to get rid of my body hair, my facial hair, let be my eyebrows, my upper lip. I try to do all of these on a regular basis irrespective of having a baby or not having a baby. So I used to do that earlier as well and I don't want to skip that part and not do it now thinking that you know I don't have time, I'm too busy with Arhan and I can't do all of these. And once I don't do those things, you know, because I've been doing that in the past, I've been doing my brows, I've been doing my upper lip, I've been doing my complete body shaving. And now if I don't do that, I will start hating myself because I know my body doesn't look like that. My, my, my hands are not that hairy always. Now I see my hairy arms, my hairy legs that will push me into more depression, right? I hope you get my point. If you are someone who never shaved or, you know, never got yourself waxed and you don't like getting rid of your body hair or facial hair or brows or upper lips, you be you, I am not telling to you guys, but those who've been doing all of these in the past, you go to salon, you spend a lot of money, you pamper yourself, but now because you don't have time and all your money is going on to your baby, you feel like it's okay if I don't get my waxing done. But no, try to make time for yourself, try to pamper yourself, try to be as groomed as possible. Now, in one of my videos, I told you guys that I don't wax, but I shave my body and so many of you all commented on that video and asked me, how do I shave my body if I can do a detailed video on body shaving? I thought I should be doing a detailed video. Then I thought, let me just incorporate the shaving portion in this one and tell you guys how important it is to keep yourself groomed. Now, why I choose shaving is one thing, you can do it yourself at home. The next thing is you save a lot of money. You don't have to go to salon. That is another pain after having a baby. To go to salon itself is a task. But now during this pandemic, you can't even imagine of going to the salon, right? And that too, having a baby, you can't take the baby, go to the salon, get everything done. It'll take a lot of time again because the waxing is not easy. It'll take a lot of time if I want to wax my entire body. It is definitely going to take time. At least even my arms and full legs, like full arms, full legs, underarms, also is going to take time minimum of half an hour. That is the least time I'm talking about. So as a mother, as a new mother, you definitely won't have so much time. And this pandemic, not just the new mothers, I'm sure nobody would want to go to salon because the third wave also is starting and it's getting super bad. So I thought I should just incorporate the shaving portion in this video and show you guys how I shave my body. The major thing when you are shaving your body is to pick the right razor for your body. Now the one I use and I would definitely recommend you guys is by the brand called Carmesi. And Carmesi is a brand which makes products keeping in women's safety and comfort in mind. So now they have this mini body razor. This is how the body razor looks. It is super super comfortable you guys. First thing, it is travel friendly as it comes with this case. So this is how the case looks and also it has holes right here. So it is easy to wash and keep it back in the case so that the water entirely drains off and your razor is dry. The key to have your razor nice is you need to keep it as dry as possible. So once we use the razor and if we just keep it like how it is, it forms a lot of rust and rusted razor is just not good for your body. It will either cause bruises or also can cause a lot of infection. That is the reason I would recommend you guys to get your hands on the Carmesi mini body razor. First thing, it comes with a case which is super comfortable and also has these holes and as I said, it helps in drying quickly. The second thing is, it is very compact. So you can just throw it in your bag or also keep it in your pants pocket. Nobody will even know that you have a razor in your pant. You can just shave your body on the go. I will quickly show you guys the method how you should be shaving. The first thing that you need to do to uh, have good shave or you know, to have a smooth body is to apply lubricant before you shave let it be soap or you know body wash or anything or aloe vera gel or anything of that sort but the best thing about the Carmesi's uh, mini razor is it comes with its own lubricant right here so it has uh, aloe vera and vitamin E's lubricant and you guys know vitamin E is very very good for our skin I've been mentioning this in so many videos of mine so by now you guys know that vitamin E is super essential and having a strip of vitamin E and aloe vera on the razor itself make it so comfortable that you don't even need a lubricant. You can just wet your body and I mean just keep your hand under the shower. Once it is wet, you can just 
take the razor and start shaving now everybody shaves in their own different ways you can either shave it how your hair is growing or against your hair growth or however what I personally like to do is I first shave along with the hair growth and then go against the hair growth so in that way it is uh, very easy and also gives me a clean and smooth skin and the ergonomic handle that it comes with it is super comfortable and super grippy so there are no chances of you know losing the grip while you are uh, shaving your body and also the two way pivot that the blade comes with it glides along with the curves of our body very very easily. So I would definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on these. Another thing that I would want to mention is Carmesi also has their bikini razor. I've heard of a lot of people who use their body razor and mix it up with their bikini razor. No guys, uh, try not to use your body razor with your bikini razor. Keep them separate. As you know, uh, the body razor comes with five blades and uh, the bikini razor comes with one blade and also it is very comfortable to raise your bikini area. So I would definitely recommend you guys to get your hands on this one for your bikini and the mini razor by Carmesi for your body. I'll make sure and leave the links in the description box for you guys to go and check it out. Currently Carmesi has a lot of offers running on their website and if you use my coupon code which is Samira10 you get additional 10% discount. And also guys these products are available even on Amazon so I'll make sure and leave the links to Amazon as well in the description box. You can go and check out try the razors and you will see the difference all by yourself and there are a lot of um, misconceptions about uh, shaving your body. People think that your hair might grow thicker or you might have darker hair. No no guys it has nothing to do with shaving as I've spoken about this in my facial shaving video your hair is getting cut at the shaft so obviously it's gonna look like it's growing thicker but no it's not growing thicker at all now people think dry shaving is absolutely okay but no that is not okay at all you might end up having bruises or you might hurt yourself so definitely don't dry shave try to use a lubricant or use the Carmesi uh, razors because these have lubricant in themselves and you can just soak your body and start shaving so yeah that's about it about the razor and also body shaving another thing that you need to follow is after shaving your body you need to moisturize it to have a very healthy and supple skin you'll have smooth and smoothest skin ever so this is another thing that I want you guys to do if you have a habit of grooming yourself before getting pregnant or delivering a baby try to follow the same ritual after you deliver the baby moving on this takes us to the fourth point Bonding with your baby is super super important you guys. I see many people uh, commenting uh, onto my post or videos. First video after we announced our pregnancy that I did with Anwar Chan about the products for the baby. Uh, in that video so many of you all commented uh, people who stay in US or people who don't stay with their parents, the nuclear families have uh, commented and said uh, why do you need all these products you have elders to help you. you you live in india you have people who can come and help you it's just us who live in us or the nuclear families have this problem of taking care of the baby first thing don't think uh, taking care of your baby is a problem feel blessed that you get a chance to do everything for your baby all by yourself even if you are here in india or even if you live in a joint family Try to do all the things for your baby all by yourself. This creates a lot of bond uh, between you and the baby and you will enjoy the most. Maybe the first month might be your task because you're learning things, you're learning how to do, what to do. But if you are pregnant, try to research on things. Try to research what is what, how is how you have to do things and stuff. Try to invest your time doing the research for your baby and post delivery, the things that you need to be doing for yourself, for your good health and for your baby's good health. That's gonna help you in creating a bond with your baby. So having a bond with your baby is super, super, super important. Coming to me, I love giving massage to Rahan all by myself since his very first bath till now. I give him bath by myself since his very first bath till now. I love doing that and uh, dressing him up, doing things for him, changing his diaper, every small thing that is related to Arhan I do all by myself and I somehow don't like taking help from others when it comes to Arhan because he's my responsibility and uh, once he grows to that level where he can do things for himself like once he grows about few months old or you know about a year or two he will start becoming independent that is what i aim for and that is what i'm working towards so that is what i would recommend you guys uh, to do to stay away from depression uh, now having said that the next point is super super important guys keep yourself dressed 
not just grooming now you're done grooming yourself your hair is good your skin is good or your body is good everything is good but if you're not dressed and if you are in your nightwear all day long you will still not like yourself you will still not like how you're appearing right so i would recommend you guys to keep yourself dressed all day long i know it is pandemic and nobody is going out but why not dress yourself at home you are dressing up for yourself not to show it to the world right dress up for yourself dress up for your baby dress up for your husband and dress up to feel good don't just stay in nightwear all day long i make sure not just when i'm recording videos but i make sure i'm dressed up every single day i make sure that you know i'm well put up every day and i capture memories as i said in my first point i capture memories with arhan every single day i make sure we capture at least one selfie or a video every day so that once i look back i know that you know i'm all dressed and i'm i am also put up good not just my baby now all of us what we do is we try to you know dress our baby with nice cute outfits and we end up forgetting ourselves but no guys your baby need to be dressed as well as you also need to be well dressed So that is my point number five. Moving to point number six. Now, uh, while you were pregnant, everybody used to pamper you. Everybody used to get you things to eat, whatever you feel like eating, whatever you wish to eat. Everybody used to get you things, right? There were only very limited things that you were restricted on, like papaya, pineapple, and stuff. According to me, you can have a piece. You can limit yourself to one piece. That is absolutely normal. But again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not suggesting you guys to be eating that because I ate a lot of mangoes during my pregnancy. and alhamdulillah arhan has been fine i of course consulted my doctor and that's when i ate she asked me to eat only one maybe every two days but i used to eat two three every day so that's what i did and alhamdulillah everything went on smooth i am not recommending you guys to be doing that but i am just sharing my experience you please don't take any risk or any chances of eating things like this but what i'm trying to say is during your pregnancy your entire family is asking you what you want to eat what you feel like eating shall i make this for you or shall i order this for you do you want to go to this place and eat do you want to go to that place and eat and once the baby is out you're restricted in eating so many things they say this is not good for baby if you eat this baby might catch cold if you eat this baby will have loose motions if you eat this baby will end up having fever no guys eat whatever you feel like but limit yourself you guys know i delivered arhan in september and october is the month that you have a lot of sitaful and i ate so many custard apples after i delivered arhan and alhamdulillah he's been fine my doctor said uh, or arhan's pediatrician in fact he said you eat whatever you wish to but limit yourself so i would eat ice cream almost every day i would eat sitaful i would eat all that i wish to eat but i would just limit myself to be eating so much earlier i used to eat like 3 4 sitafuls each day i might eat just one during my breastfeed that was my thing don't restrict yourself i know elders will tell you oh, this is not good that is not good but it is absolutely fine if you don't eat what you feel like your heart your stomach nothing is going to be filled so eat what you feel like be happy enjoy the food don't don't uh, feel suffocated when you're having your food just enjoy and be happy and uh, talking about the too much love during pregnancy this takes me to the next point now you're given a lot of love during the pregnancy right and once the baby is out you're restricted in doing so many things i mean i have received so many messages from so many of you all in my instagram personal messages that you know you're restricted to go to places that you like or you're restricted to eat you're restricted to wear certain clothes you're restricted in several different ways and you're even restricted to meet your husband you're restricted to stay inside you're restricted saying 40 days you're untouchable so these kind of things you're restricted once the baby is out before the baby is out while you're pregnant there are so many people hugging you loving you giving you so much love and as soon as the baby is out the first 40 days you're restricted voice this out guys there's nothing to do with delivery and the baby you will bleed every month for 7 days or 3 to 7 days right and bleeding for this 40 days is also as equal as that so voice this out live a normal life you are not you don't have to be restricted uh, because there's so many people who've been messaging me uh, and asking me how come you went to your home before you you completed your 40 days and stuff i wanted to go back to my home i wanted to live with my husband i wanted to uh, i wanted my family to spend time with arhan when he's too young so that's why i went back before i turned uh, 40 days or arhan turned 40 days old so yeah voice it out you don't have to restrict yourself don't uh, allow anybody restrict yourself it is your life you live however you want now coming to the eighth point do your favorite activities let it be yoga dance working out let it be anything cooking whatever let it be anything coming to me my favorite activity is creating content and i create content 
I love dancing for Instagram reels. I do that. I did it in my pregnancy. I will definitely do it even after my delivery. I receive a lot of criticism. There are so many people commenting even while I was pregnant. People used to uh, curse me saying there are so many women out there who are trying to get pregnant and uh, you are not even valuing your pregnancy. It is very good to keep yourself active and there are so many dancers who dance when they are 9 months pregnant. There are so many athletes who run and who perform all their activities when they are 9 months pregnant. And uh, I don't know when people will get this in their head and uh, even after delivering Arham and I dance along with him again people say that you know they give a lot of negativity. Not everybody. They are like 1% of people who spread a lot of negativity but that shouldn't stop me. And that will never stop me and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Don't get the negativity to your head. Keep yourself away from all the negative that is there in your life and try to focus on the positivity or try to focus on the positive and see the positive ray and positive hope and do all that you love, do all that you nine. like. Now coming to the ninth point, sleep is very very important guys. Not just the baby but even your sleep is super important. Now I get to see a lot of uh, new mommies or the families who have new baby and mommies in the house they say this your baby sleeping this is the time you should be sleeping or you know you should be getting your rest but guys uh, your night sleep is equally important try to get your rest try to get your sleep during the night as well not just the day naps i know so many of us don't feel sleepy during the day we feel like doing something we feel like doing some activities we feel like spending your time for us and your night sleep is super important so try to train your baby to sleep in the night obviously the initial days and the first one month or two months your baby wakes up a lot for the feeds or if your baby is not waking up it's you who has to wake your baby up and feed your baby but later on you can always put your baby to a track and uh, enjoy that time sleep as long as possible feed your baby give your baby a dream feed enjoy your sleep Try to get your sleep, try to get that long stretch sleep at least for 4 to 5 hours long stretch sleep for yourself. Now this takes me to our 10th point which is very very important. Take out time for yourself. Do things you like, maybe binge watch or uh, going out on a coffee date with your husband, meeting your family, meeting your friends, do whatever you wish to do but give time for yourself as well. I know when I say do everything for your baby all by yourself that doesn't mean that you ignore yourself. Give time for your baby as well as yourself. When I say love yourself that means you also need to prioritize yourself, prioritize your wishes, prioritize your wants, prioritize things that you love to do. Just do whatever you wish to do. Get that at least half an hour of your time every day to do whatever you wish to do. Let it be watching TV, let it be browsing your phone, let it be just scrolling down the Instagram Reels or YouTube Shots, do whatever you wish to do. But take that half an hour time out for yourself as well and you will love, love, love this phase. Now coming to the 11th point, laugh guys, laugh, laugh how much ever you wish to laugh, laugh out loud, enjoy your time, laugh with your baby, have fun with your baby, play with your baby, your baby laughs out loud. You also laugh out loud. You don't have to restrict your laugh. Take all the positivity that you have around you and just laugh, laugh, laugh along with your baby. Your baby is going to smile and that smile will get a smile onto your face. And whenever your baby is enjoying playing, laughing, play and laugh along with your baby. The last and another important point that I have is the 12th one. Shop for yourself as well. Now when I say shop for yourself as well, I know all of us are working on budgeting especially after 2020 the lives everybody's lives have turned upside down everybody is doing very bad financially so we have a lot of commitments and our money flow is more uh, which is going out but the money flow that is coming in is pretty less i totally understand everybody is having the same uh, situation when it comes to financial thing but i'm sure out of all those things you are still trying your best to give best for your child right give the best for your baby why are you neglecting yourself Try to give at least 1% of that to yourself as well because you also deserve all that love and all that importance. Don't try to compromise on things. Don't try to, you know, let go of things. Try to figure out between your needs and wants. Things that you want will definitely remain want till the time you fulfill them. But things that you need are really something that you actually need. So try to invest in these needs and uh, try to keep yourself happy. Don't, don't restrict yourself on anything, guys. Just be happy, just keep smiling and take all the positivity. I know I've repeated this line so many times of taking the positivity because the negativity, uh, don't even let it get into your head. Don't even 
let it you know what if what if this happens or what it what if that happens in a negative way because the more you think the more power you're giving to the negativity so try to keep the negativity away as much as possible and get all the positive things that you have in your life what you have don't think of what you don't have work on these things and uh, try to be as happy as possible try to spend as much time as possible with your baby and also your family keep talking to your friends i know due to the pandemic you can't go and meet your friends or can't go and meet your family but you can always stay in touch using the phone so try your best to spend time with your family spend the most time with your baby and your husband and stay happy these are the things these are the 12 major things that help me not let the postpartum depression hit me so yeah that's about this video i hope this was informative i hope this was helpful at least for one or two of you guys i'll be more than glad if my videos are helpful for the new mommies or the mommies to be so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe to my channel not just this channel do subscribe to my regional channels as well which are samira sharif vlogs telugu and samira sharif vlogs tamil and uh, do subscribe to all the family channels uh, frolic tabasum shanur sana and also hyderabadi beauty and delhi bees having said that i'll end this video right here see you guys soon in my next video until i'll see you next lots of love